Good afternoon. I'm uh, Tom Crampton, coming to you from the uh, studios of At Next in central Hong Kong. Uh, I'm here to look at the Internet in Hong Kong, what's unique, what's different, uh, and what's going on here. And who better to have down here than Napoleon Biggs, who is the founder of Web Wednesday. Web Wednesday uh, is a gathering every Wednesday, Wednesday, every... First Wednesday of the month. First Wednesday of the month, yeah. a similar concept to... First Tuesday, <laughs> but we've moved on from First Tuesday. We're well beyond that now. We're well into we're into Web Wednesday. That's right. Web Wednesday has been going on since June last year. June of last year. And if we yeah. can look at the screen, we can take a look at the Web Wednesday Facebook group. Uh, we've got uh, now up to 439 members. 439 yeah. members here, um, and there's even a blog, which is webwednesday.com.hk. Uh, with the most recent story talking about how Google is not only uh, uh, trying to save Yahoo from being bought by Microsoft, it's also being saved. For, uh, it's trying to save the Chinese people who are stuck out uh, in uh, 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 different parts of China during this Chinese New Year holiday. But let's keep quick into the point. Mm. Um, we're going to be joined by uh, Aaron Farr from Lama Island. Aaron, can you join us here for a second? Uh, oh. Hello, Aaron. Welcome from Lama. Hi. <laughs> so um, we're going to talk about what's new, unique and, and, and different about uh, Hong Kong Internet, both in terms of the overall trends, but also the usages in general. Are, are Hong Kong people more social, less social on the Internet? Do they blog a lot? Do they not blog a lot? Um, maybe, maybe start first with Aaron out on Lama. Tell us, uh, uh, Internet and blogging, what, 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 is, what, what gives in Hong Kong? Well, um, we've seen a lot uh, more bloggers coming out. We've had actually some blogging um, events organized uh, by bloggers to come out, similar to Web Wednesday. So we're seeing that trend, um, but at the same time, uh, what we see is that you know we have uh, websites like Discuss um, and many other forums or uh, BBSs that are still very popular. So people, although they're blogging, tend to also really like to uh, get on the forums and use that media as well. Okay, so with with the uh, uh, discuss, is there is there an analogous site in the United States to discuss, or or in Europe? Uh, not really. It's certainly not to the size, and you know, not for the entire U.S. For example, um, but uh, you know, in the United States, we we would tend to have um, more individual blogs that people have, um, or people communicate over, uh, you know, or they have MySpace uh, pages, which is very popular. But people also tend to use email a lot. Uh, in, in Hong Kong, what you see, and also in greater China, is people tending to use forums a little bit more or instant messenger. Um, so people are still communicating over the Internet. They just tend to do it a little differently. Um, blogs are becoming more important, and I think it's something that's catching on in Hong Kong. Okay, so starting a blogging company is not something that we'd want to do right now, uh, maybe. Uh, uh, Napoleon, is, 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 do you agree with this? Is this your, your view of I... Hong Kong's not such a huge blogging place? Not totally. No. Not I, totally. I don't, I don't agree with him. You don't agree. Good. No, that's right. We right. like people to not agree. Why? Why is he wrong? He's American. <laughs> He's American. It's, okay. it's a generation thing. I mean, you know, uh, in in Hong Kong, uh, you get the younger crowd who are going in and they're playing games and they're used to hanging out in, in communities with people they don't really know. Yeah. Um, in uh, in and you've got the older generation who are very much. Uh, uh, Sharp, uh, getting more confident to express themselves. So you've got people setting up uh, radio online here, uh, open radio. You've got uh, some of the political groups are going and uh, using these social networks to basically motivate people to get them together out onto the street. Uh, and then you know the younger crowds are basically playing games and chatting on forums. Okay, so what you're saying maybe is that uh, uh, what Aaron's talking about is true, but it's it's not uh, uh, right now. There is this movement towards blogs. It's a new aspect of it. Uh, the, the blogging is is a very American concept. I mean, you know, people on the internet here got on not through blogs; they got on through uh, instant messaging and through forums and through games. So the, there's a crowd of young people who are coming up who've been used to communicating in groups, uh, in games or in forums. For them to transfer across onto the blogging world, they have to be very, very opinionated, or have to be motivated to do that, or looking for commercial purposes. Okay, but but where, whereas here people are not d don't go in with those commercial and self promotional purposes? Uh, not immediately. Okay. But the market so here is too small. It's not like America. Your, your audience is too small. The, the audience is too small. Uh, okay. Okay. 
it, it's too small here to basically launch an online business and just focus on the Chinese community in Hong Kong. Okay. All right. Okay. So you're not entirely wrong, Llama uh, <laughs> Island. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, what, what, are, what are some of the trends? What are the trends that you're seeing now in, in Hong Kong? What, are, what, are, what that you'd highlight? Um, I mean, Hong Kong is a small place. So the, the first trend I see is uh, mobile. People in Hong Kong, you know, have I don't know. I think the number is like uh, two or three mobiles each. Let's, let's talk about internet penetration, mobile penetration. What is it in Hong Kong, and how does that compare to the rest of the world? Uh, here, it's uh, I don't know. The population here is about seven million people, and about four point four online. Four point so four million online. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, Percentage-wise, I don't know. Okay, that. and and, and uh, mobile. There is, uh, there's like nine million mobile phones. So more mobile phones than, than people. people. Okay, yeah. so what's the mobile trend you're seeing? Uh, well, in in Hong Kong, the mobile trend is a fashion item, so you wear it, right? I mean, uh, okay. Since uh, the iPhone has come out, uh, people have hacked into it. So there's people in in Hong Kong who have ha hacked phones, but the uh, the content is very much what's driving a lot of these people. In terms of, uh, they're trying to look at video, but it's still the the prices are too high, so they're playing games. I'm sure when you've been in MTAR here, people are are, are playing games the whole time on their mobile right. phones. Um, the social network side of it hasn't really come into the mobile arena yet. Okay. Right. Uh, what what are are there any other trends that you can tell us about uh, beyond mobile? What about uh, in the, the kind of internet companies that are being built here? What what are some of the homegrown internet companies that are unique to Hong Kong? Uh, probably on the, the back of uh, the youth here is uh, 3D animation. There's a big uh, move uh, supported by some of the tech groups out of Cyberport, and they do uh, 3D. There's a lot of 3D development going on here. There's people setting up 3D social networks. They're setting up uh, 3D virtual worlds. So that's all. Uh, this is, come on, we have name names. Name names? <laughs> name names. All right, FriendZoo. FriendZoo, okay. 3D social network, FriendZoo.com. Uh, and what does it mean to be a 3D social network? Is this, uh, it means uh, that instead of going in uh, flat, rather like uh, Facebook or MySpace, you go in and you have a, a persona, an alternative persona, which is an avatar which you can spin around, you can see your buttocks, you can see your legs. You can so see this is Second Life. How is this different from Second Life? Is this you can't fly and you can't uh, go and so have sex So it's a, a second, second Life with less functionality. Movement. Yeah. Okay. Next company? But the graphics are much better. Next company, a uh, company called Edit Grid. Edit grid. They're okay. a startup out of Hong Kong. They actually have 50,000 clients all over the world. And they do something that sounds really boring, that's very interesting, online spreadsheets. So they compete with Ye Yahoo, sorry, Google. and Google Zoho. Documents. Yeah, Zoho is another one. Zo what is Zoho? They compete with Zoho. Okay, they compete with Zoho. Okay. Uh, but they, they, they seem to be something that they're not offering something unique or that different from them, or are they? What, they are unique? slightly different in that you can, uh, Google's a bit closed, surprisingly. With Google, uh, to share a, an Excel spreadsheet takes a little bit of effort. Somebody has to sign in and use a, a Gmail account. With them, uh, you can pull in data from all kinds of resources. And they have one guy who set up a, an Excel spreadsheet that has uh, the comparison of the stock market here and in North America, and it's had one million visitors over the last Okay, well, months. this seems like a very Hong Kong thing. What we're yeah. talking about is, is a, a, a site that allows you to do a lot of financing things. Um, Aaron, any last uh, thoughts for, from, from you on, on the Internet here in uh, Hong Kong or something you've learned? You arrived here from Pennsylvania and you're involved in a startup. What is your startup? Uh, my startup is uh, Jade Tower. Uh, we're working on a product called Indie Arcade, which is online uh, gaming, creating and sharing your online games. And I'm also a director of the Apache Software Foundation, which is an open source. Okay. And I think... The interesting thing is that we're seeing a lot of things like Web Wednesday and people coming from the Internet and getting together and meeting one another. So um, I think that's a trend we're going to see in Hong Kong and uh, elsewhere. Okay, well, that's great. So it sounds like what we're seeing, the trend, one of the trends we're seeing now is, is the Internet is getting real uh, into real people, which is a great, great thing and great to meet you uh, virtually online uh, and great to have you down here, Napoleon, in the studio and look forward to the next Web Wednesday. Thank Thanks. you very much. Thank you. Yeah, Aaron's still there. <laughs>